Martelet, French for hammered, is the stroke of choice for percussive accents. It is distinguished from a simply emphasized or stressed note by its intense, pressured start. In her book, Orchestral Bowings and Routines, violinist and educator Elizabeth A. H. Green heralds it as the underlying foundation on which ultimate clarity of style is built. Martelet can be played in any part of the bow, be used for any length of stroke, including full bows, and for everything but very fast passages. Martelet is typically notated with hairpin accents or wedges above notes, although, depending on the accuracy of the composer's notation, it can also be implied with sforzando and rin sforzando markings, or a combination of dot and accent type markings. Martelet requires distinct initial pressure, followed by a total release of this extra pressure once the bow is moving. Begin, rest your bow on a string in the balance point area and lean your index finger heavily into the stick. You want to see it physically moving down toward the string and feel the hair gripping so much that you could bend the string from side to side by slightly pulling the bow back and forth. Once you have this grip on the string, release the pressure and do a simple detaché stroke. So press and release and bow. Press, release, and bow. Now you must learn to combine these two actions. Place your bow near the balance point again in preparation for another down bow. Lean into the stick, and at the precise moment you begin to open your elbow, release your finger pressure. Imagine your hand rotating out and away from you as the bow releases out of the string. Bring the bow to a complete stop on the string and similarly prepare for your up bow. Again, lean in and then release as you close your elbow. Focus on listening for a distinctive crack at the beginning of each bow. Common challenges with martelet include releasing too soon or too late, and having an uneven bite quality between up bows and down bows. Releasing too soon would basically turn into a detaché. releasing too late and you've got way more bite than you were looking for. And having an uneven bite quality between the down bows and up bows or, or the string of bowings in general. just uneven and you want evenness for this stroke. If you find that you are releasing a too late, first realize that learning martelet requires some of the crunchy sound so many detest in poor string playing. Because we want just a tiny piece of this sound as our beginning accent, when learning it's better that you have a bit too much than none at all. Don't worry, with careful listening it's easy to harness the sound in just the right amount. This brings us to the issue of releasing too late. If you're getting an overly crunchy start, back up to just separating the pressure and stroke motions completely. So press, release, bow, press, release, bow, and gradually lessen the time between each action until you have one smooth motion and most importantly, one smooth accented sound. Press, release, and bow. Press, release, and bow. 
Stephen Clapp, violin professor and dean emeritus at the Juilliard School, reminds students that the most important element of the Martelet stroke is the silence, while the most notable characteristic is the pinch. Between these two, you have a wide palette of percussive expression. You can have a pianissimo bite or a fortissimo bite. An example of a pianissimo bite and a fortissimo bite. Your stroke could last for half the note value, for three quarters, or for nearly the entire duration. So practice varying the silence too. No matter what the tempo of the piece you're playing and the value of the notes, it's very important to leave enough time to prepare each note. This is why Martelet doesn't work for very fast passages.